Thank you very much. Good morning to all. Um, in this talk, uh, I will explain uh, the, um, the results of 2T and 3D environmental monitoring in a, a complex bubble query district. The, the Carrara one, with uh, a very famous uh, extractive basin. And we, um, I, uh, <clears throat> we will start with, uh, with just a little of, uh, of history in order to, uh, <clears throat> to, um, <clears throat> to have a, a starting knowledge of, uh, of environmental challenges we are, uh, are facing. After this, we will uh, we'll dip. Uh, um, uh, thank you very much. And we will go deeper inside the uh, 2D and 3D monitoring. Uh, and, uh, and finally, we, are <coughs> we, are <coughs> we, we would see uh, some, uh, uh, some force uh, solution for, uh, um, for changes representations. And uh, um, a bit of history of the, the Upon Alps district. Uh, the, the Upon Alps are a, a, a big uh, extractive basin. Um, uh, uh, since uh, Iron Age marble was extracted in, uh, in this area, and the, uh, and the big uh, changes um, Rose in, uh, um, in, the first, in the first year of the, the 18th century with uh, a, 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 dramatic, uh, um, a dramatic increase in, uh, in marble production. And uh, this, uh, this dramatic increase lead, um, led to, uh, to, um, to many problems. The, uh, the main factor of uh, of environmental pollution is, uh, the, is the presence of, uh, of very big waste dumps uh, coming from uh, past uh, extraction works. And, uh, um, and with, uh, with rainfall, this, uh, these quick dumps become a marble slurry that, uh, that go uh, um, into the, the the river beds, so um, disrupting each, uh, um, uh, disrupting every form uh, of life, and so this is uh, a, a, ver a very important uh, environmental question. And uh, um, um, Tuscany region has uh, issued a special monitoring project that uh, involved many directorates and. Uh, and involved us uh, as also the, uh, the regional environmental protection uh, agency. And, um, the project goals uh, um, are, uh, are mainly the uh, enforcing of uh, in situ environmental controls, and uh, especially, uh, and this is regard us, the uh, evaluation of, of the potential of. Uh, remote sensing techniques in, uh, in environmental controls, prioritations by uh, assessing, assessing relevant land, land cover changes and uh, extracted in situ disposed volumes changes. Uh, I mean, earth and rocks extracted from uh, query. And uh, in, uh, in, um, in the 2D, uh, land cover change uh, assessment, we, um, we looked for this, for, for, um, for kind of, uh, of changes, uh, a, um, a natural soil loss, uh, that is uh, a loss of, uh, of vegetation by opening uh, of new queries or, uh, um, or the disposal of, or, um, of uh, of new dumps, um, on-site dumps removal, since uh, uh, some dumps uh, can, mm, can be removed for, uh, um, for new extraction activities, and uh, an um, exhausted query refilling, uh, since uh, some time is uh, a very expensive procedure to, um, 
to dispose uh, uh, extraction dumps uh, outside the extraction site. Uh, this is uh, a, um, a still a quite, quite, uh, quite used technique. And um, another kind of, uh, of uh, all cover changes is uh, a natural vegetation growth over uh, exhausted areas. Um, but why we are uh, assessing for, uh, for uh, precisely these four kinds of uh, land cover changes? These changes are important since they um, can be related to uh, sustainability goals. Uh, in particular, the two, uh, sorry, particular to the changes can be associated to um, border monitoring of uh, uh, protected areas and uh, uh, surface changes uh, also <coughs> are important in terms of uh, assessment of uh, carbon stock coming from uh, uh, from um, from the loss of uh, of vegetation uh, extraction dump the uh, extraction dump problematic is uh, is relevant uh, and. Uh, and uh, uh, it can be assessed with, uh, um, with not only 2D, but also with the 3D uh, uh, cha uh, cha cha changes detection. Um, here we have some uh, example of, of, uh, of this kind of, uh, of changes. Here we have uh, a, a, the border of uh, a, um, a natural natural area which is uh, interested by extraction activity and, uh, uh, and dump disposal. So, uh, so here we, we have a case of, uh, of, um, of no respect for the, the protected area limits. Um, in the first case, we have a, a, a piece of, uh, of natural rock that uh, in uh, in 10 years uh, have been covered by, uh, by waste dumps. Mm, On-site dump reduction uh, also can uh, occur by opening of new queries. And, okay. Well, um, and this is a case of a, a query located far outside the, uh, the um, principal um, Roads, so that uh, uh, removing of uh, of extraction disposal is uh, not uh, um, economically <coughs> economically <coughs> justified. So that uh, we can see in uh, in, ch in changes between uh, 2012 and. Uh, and 2017, that uh, almost uh, every uh, that uh, we 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 have many dumps uh, on site, and uh, also uh, the same thing can be seen on the uh, on the other control period, 2017 and uh, and 2020. As for the 2D monitoring, uh, we, um, we, are, we are fortunate, uh, we, are, we are lucky since we have a, a, a big series with, uh, um, with very close time intervals of, uh, of aerial photos. We have photos uh, at, uh, at high resolution, uh, um, less than, uh, than one meter, for instance, uh, um, every three, three years. Uh, and we, we can integrate uh, this, uh, this, uh, this IELTS service with, uh, with uh, satellite once. Um, in particular, in this work, we uh, focus on the uh, 50 centimeter play, uh, play, um, uh, stereo images in, in order to to derive a, a, a DSM, a, a tri stereo DSM. Uh, for software use, it was, uh, was QGIS for, uh, for manual digitizing. Uh, 
in Gidal for uh, or to rectifying the uh, plagiarist images, uh, texture mapping with uh, an analysis with uh, Orfeo toolbox, uh, some processing with SNAP, Orfeo toolbox. Uh, a SNAP allows, allows us to have uh, Auxiliary, uh, uh, auxiliary layers for uh, uh, improve the uh, quality of, um, of visual interpretation. The results uh, um, are here. We have uh, a, um, a layer with uh, the uh, surface chain, the surface chain, uh, the, sub, the, <coughs> the surf surface changes over the years and uh, uh, a layer with the, the kind of uh, changes we, we detected. Uh, and we can see that the uh, trend uh, on natural soil loss uh, is uh, constant uh, over the last years, wh um, while uh, other trends are uh, increasing for, uh, for dumps removal and, uh, uh, and uh, query refilling. As for 3D monitoring, uh, we, we have a, a, um, a wider time uh, interval since uh, we only have two, two LIDAR uh, aerial surveys in uh, 2012 and uh, to 2017 uh, integrated with the two Pleiades, uh, three, three, uh, three stereo 3D derived models. In this case, uh, we, mm, we used uh, two pipelines. Uh, we tested them. Um, the first uh, is uh, the, the NASA AMES pipeline, and, and the other, the uh, S2P. And uh, the self-processing also enabled us to have an, uh, an auxiliary layer, but uh, is uh, less precise since we use the uh, SAR Cosmos Sky made the image uh, with uh, three, three, uh, mm, three, three meters of resolution. And, uh, uh, and the three D uh, the changes uh, compared with uh, um, reported production by query owners uh, allows us to, uh, to uh, find some uh, particular case of uh, of, um, or we can say, uh, some uh, suspected declaration by query manager. In this, case, for, um, in this case, for instance, we have only uh, production, di production data uh, and, uh, and no in-situ waste. This is very, very strange, uh, but it, uh, it can be due to um, to the using of this waste uh, on site for uh, for infrastructure <coughs> for uh, service in, uh, for service infrastructure, but uh, this case requires um, um, an additional control by our technicians. Well, uh, let's let's go ahead to the uh, the publishing of three D data. And um, we have some, uh, some detailed models uh, at the query level and uh, some models at the basic level. So we, um, we, are, uh, we, are, <coughs> we are building a, a 2D map uh, to uh, enter in this, to uh, access these two, two kinds uh, of data. And, uh, um, Data processing uh, of 3D changes uh, can be very, <laughs> very challenging. Uh, we, uh, we used uh, the, uh, um, a PIDAL tool. The PIDAL tool allows uh, uh, starting from point cloud to obtain mesh. Mm. As for, for the, the first, uh, Aerial LiDAR, we have to, uh, to color it with uh, the, um, the closer uh, available uh, aerial uh, imagery. <coughs> After this, we have to, to, to clip them 
o vi reach base in area and, uh, and transform on the proper coordinate system. Assembling the, the two model allows us by uh, passing between the uh, an, um, an optimization stage to obtain a model that can be published on the web. You know that uh, when uh, publishing three, three, uh, 3D models uh, on the web, we have to, to keep uh, it, um, its, size, its size small. And starting from uh, point clouds, we have a, a single tile uh, that is about uh, 32 megabytes. Uh, after reduction, uh, after meshing, simplifying, uh, and compressing, we obtain a, a, a single basin that can be, be published in, uh, in 3D Hope environment uh, that is about 25 megabytes. And this is a, compress a compressed mesh that can be served by a, a smooth web server. So we have um, produced this, this, uh, this kind of models. First model, that is a natural color model. This, the, uh, the second one overlaid with the, um, the, uh, the 2D the layer of, uh, uh, of land uh, cover changes, and another textured with uh, uh, extracted volumes and new dumps. And so we are assembling these models on a single page that, that uh, allows the user to, uh, to select the model and visualize it. This can be an uh, affordable tool for uh, for our technicians, uh, uh, in order to uh, check the, um, the query as, uh, associ associated with measure impacts. Concluding, uh, both uh, 2D and uh, 3D uh, aerial and satellite uh, resolution data uh, allow environmental monitoring of complex extractive basin and representation uh, in uh, 3D of, uh, of large uh, amounts of data uh, can be challenging, but uh, open source tools uh, and, uh, and processing are, are ready for, uh, um, for uh, achieving the, the, the goal of, uh, of, enable, um, of enabling uh, complex representations. And this combined representation uh, for us uh, is uh, a, a must have to, uh, to, to, to grant a quick look to, to our technicians of the, um, of the main changes uh, occurred in uh, uh, query area. Uh, and this work uh, has been made by a working group, uh, including other four, uh, four, um, four colleagues uh, of my office. Thank you very much, Cynthia.